so this is going to be a different type of video for me i am going to be venting so i don't even have an intro this is really a different type of video but i filmed this video about two hours ago when i realized that i have a new flaw shout out to all the insecurities um yeah i noticed that my forehead is super super big and my mom's been telling me this for years she's been telling me my forehead is is keen okay i thought she was just like being a hater but my forehead is actually so big that i can hide half of my forehead with the wig and still have a big amount left that's because my forehead is literally a five head insecurities okay so in this video i really just want to vent because a lot of things has been bothering me lately and it's just been a lot of negative energy that's been trying to weigh me down. I don't know if the devil is really trying to win. I'm not going to let him, but this is one of my therapy sessions I want to have with you guys. I realized that I am done dating. I am so disgusted with this generation's dating that it has like literally scared me to dating because this generation of dating, everybody's cheating with everyone. And it's just not something that I want for myself. I mean, it's so much more to life than dating. And while it can get very, very lonely sometimes, it's so much that I have to knock off my checklist. I am a very detailed person to the fact where I have to have a checklist. I don't know if that's the Capricorn in me, and I don't mean to get into oh, the whole astrology thing, but I believe things do happen for a reason. I believe astrology exists for a reason. So yeah, I am one of those type people, unfortunately. Um, I think that's the Capricorn in me that is very goal oriented and I have always kind of have to have a checklist, which is why I can't, I can't really go with the flow because I always say because I am the flow, but on a realistic and serious note, it's because I always need to be in control of something. So I feel like if I have a checklist, I can control that. I can knock off what I need to get knocked off and I can have that goal set and I can accomplish it. I always want to accomplish something. I always want to accomplish a goal. That's why I said I believe that's the Capricorn in me. It's a hate love thing though it's a hate love thing because i always feel like i need a checklist but anyway i i don't see me dating because it just i take relationships seriously when i'm in one and people don't have the same heart as me but you know i'm not gonna blame this 100 percent on people because sometimes i feel like i need to step back and work on me you know but that's another reason why i'm also not dating is because I've been doing some reflection and I've realized I'm not in no way ready to be in a relationship. You know, I can take accountability for my actions, but I know that a lot of people can't. And I'm just looking for an adult, not a child, someone to raise. I'm tired of trying to raise other people's kids. I already have my own toddler to raise. I'm not raising a, a grown adult. I'm not here for it. Dating apps, yeah, no, you can miss me with all of that. Like, I'm good on it. But on the other note, Cause this is just like my thoughts are all over the place but i really just want to vent i've been just thinking about friendships lately and what they mean to me and surrounding myself around different people i've lost a lot of friends recently and yeah it sucks and it hurts because you know i've been friends with some people for over 10 plus years and the friendship ended into me it is what it is there's nothing i can do you know i'm not rekindling nothing old friendships relationships nothing because it is literally a reason things and why they end every time i try to rekindle something with someone an old type of relationship not necessarily a dating relationship it never works out because it was not meant to be rekindled okay like it just makes me mad because and it's always me reaching out to people people never reach back out to me i'm not gonna say never because somebody did just try to reach back out to me and it went left I'm just, I'm just tired, okay? And, you know, I feel like people would be trying to use me because of some of my talents. Not to sound boastful because I am creative. So, I do the drawing, the photography, the YouTube. I edit pictures sometimes. I do a, a little bit of everything. And I feel like people would be trying to use me and surround themselves around me because they feel like I'm beneficial to their life. And I don't like that. I pick up on that type of stuff real quick. Like, if I feel like you're trying to use me, no. Mm-mm. I'm going to just go in and exit left. Like... It's just been like, and then just like a whole lot of shade, low key. Like I peep everything and people always try to say, well, if the shoot fits where, no, stop playing with me. Like people just be throwing a lot of shade. Like I don't get it. I'm trying to work on the new me, but it's like people been testing me. Like what are you doing? Stop. I'm just, I'm just tired though. Like, I don't get it. I really don't. I know it's the reason everything happens the way it does. I'm really just trying to level up in life and trying to boss myself up. I just, I have so much stuff I have planned. I don't want to speak on it because sometimes, you know, it's not good to 
speak on everything. It's good to speak some things into existence, but you know, it's a whole new decade. I'm I'm still working on my attitude. I've been saying I'm working on my attitude for like 10 years now. We're in a whole new decade. January was definitely my trial month, though. My 2020 starts February 1st. My new 2020 starts today. It started at 12 o'clock midnight. So January still has some negative 2019 vibes. Yeah, I started the year off bad. And I'm tired of letting certain people get control over me, whereas though my emotions are raw and they all over the place and certain people know how to, like, pick at me and it's like I'm a bubble. You you, you pop it and like, that's it. And I'm trying to work on it. But like I said, people are really trying me. Why not leave that in the past? Why try to take all of this negative energy into a whole new decade? Because some people will never change. It's, it's just so much that I'll be dealing with. And I don't be wanting to bring it on no social media platforms. Like, I have grown as a person. I evolved because back in the day, like, a year, not even a year ago, but like, two years ago. Because 2019, I was chilling. 2018, 2017, I used to blast people when at them. They add names, their phone numbers, everything. Now, I like to do story times, but I won't put the people's names in. And I'll scratch out a, a screenshot. I'll scratch out a name. But I used to didn't care. It used to be... I used to be a very, 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 very hot head. I have calmed. I'm like ice cool now. That's how cool and collected I've been. But you got those people who still try me. But I'm trying my best to rise above the pettiness. On a much lighter note, this is the year for growth for me. And so much good things to come. So many blessings. And I'm just grateful to still be here. Because, you know, every day is not promised. So... I just had to get on here and vent. This is one of my therapy sessions I had to have with you guys. I just needed to get it out there. Thanks for sitting with me through a therapy session. I really needed to talk to someone. Thank you for taking some time out your day to listen. See y'all in my next video. If you like this look, I did a tutorial on it. So make sure y'all be on the lookout for it. See y'all next time. Bye.